I can take two uh, battery packs for my thermal weapon site, 24 hour patrol versus taking four or eight uh, battery packs with alkaline batteries. This isn't just a story about batteries. It's a story about silence, about small things that carry great weight. Somewhere in a quiet room, the U.S. military approved a deal, one that most people will never hear about. A silicon-based battery wrapped in graphene, built not for power plants or electric trucks, but for radios, for soldiers, for survival. Why would something so advanced be used for something so small? Because sometimes, the biggest changes begin where no one is looking. And if this breakthrough is real, it won't stay on the battlefield for long. Something is shifting. Let's take a closer look. Why soldiers need better batteries. When you picture a soldier, you probably imagine armor, weapons, maybe a helmet. But you probably don't think about batteries. You should. Today's soldiers carry more electronics than ever before. Radios to stay in contact, GPS to navigate the terrain, laser systems for targeting, night vision, thermal scopes, even handheld computers. And every one of them needs power. That power comes from batteries, a lot of them. In some missions, a single soldier might carry up to 20 pounds of batteries. That's not a luxury. That's a necessity, and it takes a toll. That weight slows them down. It limits what else they can carry. It makes long treks harder and more dangerous. But the real risk isn't just the weight. It's the runtime. When a battery dies, the system it powers goes silent. No signal, no eyes in the dark, no way to call for help. So finding a battery that lasts longer charges faster, and weighs less isn't about convenience. It's about survival. Nanograph's battery, with its 15% longer life and 15% lighter weight, could be a lifeline. It's not flashy. It's not loud. But when everything depends on staying powered, quiet strength might be the most important kind. Strategic need for U.S.-made batteries. There's a deeper reason why the military is investing in new battery technology, and it's not just performance. It's about control, about where that power comes from. Today, more than 80% of the world's lithium-ion batteries are made in China. That includes the materials, the manufacturing, and the final product. For consumer tech, it's an inconvenience, but for the military, it's a serious vulnerability. Imagine needing to power a mission and having to rely on your biggest rival to supply the battery. It's a risk the U.S. can't afford to take. Not in a world where conflicts are increasingly fought with sensors, networks, and constant communication. That's why domestic battery production has become a national priority. The military wants batteries that are not only high-performing, but made at home. Safe, secure, independent. Nanograph answered that call. They're based in Chicago. Their materials don't require rare earth imports. Their process is American from start to finish. This isn't just about building a better battery. It's about making sure the power stays in the right hands. And that makes this technology more than useful. It makes it strategic because in today's world, Energy is its kind of weapon. What makes Nanograph's battery different? Most people think all batteries are the same, but inside, the difference between average and extraordinary is everything. Traditional lithium ion batteries use graphite in the anode, the part that stores and releases energy. It's reliable, cheap, and easy to work with, but it's limited. Graphite can only hold so much. And for today's energy needs, so much isn't enough. Nanograph changed the game by replacing graphite with silicon oxide. Silicon can hold far more lithium, up to 10 times as much. That means more power in the same space. But there's a problem. Silicon is unstable. 
It swells and cracks when it's charged. Over time, that destroys the battery. This is where Nanograph's real innovation shines. They wrap their silicon oxide in a layer of graphene, one atom thick, incredibly strong, incredibly conductive. It stabilizes the silicon. It protects it. It allows the battery to charge faster, last longer, and survive harsh conditions. This isn't just a tweak to an old design. It's a rethinking of how batteries should work. And the results aren't theoretical. They've been tested, measured, trusted. That's what makes Nanograph different. They didn't build a new battery. They built a better future, one layer at a time. How SOG batteries work. To understand what makes Nanograph's battery special, we need to go inside, down to the level where atoms move and energy flows. In a traditional lithium-ion battery, graphite is used in the anode. Its layered structure allows lithium ions to slide between sheets during charging. It's simple and effective, but limited. It can only store a modest amount of energy. Now picture silicon oxide. It doesn't just store lithium, it absorbs it. One atom of silicon can bond with four lithium atoms, allowing far greater energy density. But there's a cost. As silicon fills with lithium, it expands dramatically. That swelling causes cracks, breaks, and rapid degradation. Nanograph's answer? Wrap the silicon oxide in a protective framework of graphene. Graphene is atomically thin, but unbelievably strong. It holds the silicon together, giving it space to expand without falling apart. It keeps the internal structure stable, charge after charge. Think of it like a lung, breathing in energy, protected by armor so light it's barely there. This combination allows the battery to store more energy, last longer, and charge faster without breaking down. It's not just advanced chemistry. It's a precise balance of strength and flexibility, built for the real world, built to endure. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Graphene's role in performance. Graphene doesn't look like much. It's invisible to the eye, thinner than anything you can touch. But its impact on Nanograph's battery is massive. At its core, graphene is a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb pattern. It's just one atom thick, yet it's over 200 times stronger than steel. More importantly for batteries, it's one of the best conductors of electricity we've ever discovered. In Nanograph's design, graphene plays two roles. First, it acts as a support structure, wrapping around the silicon oxide and holding it steady. When the silicon expands during charging, graphene keeps it from shattering. It absorbs the stress bends without breaking. Second, it acts like a highway for electrons. Electricity moves across its surface effortlessly. There's no slowdown, no resistance, no loss. That means faster charging, more efficient power delivery, less heat. It's rare to find a material that's both this light and this strong. Even rarer, to see it perform so reliably under pressure. Without graphene, Nanograph's battery wouldn't work the same way. It's not an accessory. It's the secret weapon, a microscopic structure with a massive purpose, holding everything together while letting energy move freely. The cost and challenge of graphene. If graphene is so powerful, so perfect, why isn't it everywhere? The answer is hidden in the process. Making graphene in a lab is simple. A strip of tape, some graphite, and a microscope. But making it for the world, that's something else entirely. High quality graphene is difficult to scale. Some researchers use lasers to slice it free. Others try bacteria or plant sugars. Each method is clever, but none of them are fast. None of them is cheap. 
and none produce consistent results. This is the bottleneck, not the battery's design, a supply chain problem at the atomic level. Nanograph says they've found a way around it, a method that doesn't need exotic tools or fragile systems, one that works with existing factories, not against them. They don't share the full process. They call it proprietary. But something's working, because these batteries are no longer just prototypes. They're being built, boxed, shipped. If the cost falls just a little more, just enough to break the threshold, then the rest of the world won't be far behind. The revolution might already be waiting, quiet, small, about to spread. Nanograph's manufacturing advantage. Some breakthroughs stay trapped in labs. They win awards, but never leave the glass walls. Nanograph avoided that fate. Their battery isn't just advanced, it's buildable. Their process fits into existing production lines. No need to tear down factories, no need to reinvent the wheel. That's rare and powerful. They've already set up in Chicago. Now they're building again, this time in Michigan, on the site of an old Buick factory. Backed by government funding, they plan to produce thousands of tons of silicon material each year. It's more than a battery. It's a system, and it's already starting to scale. Potential beyond the military. Right now, these batteries are going into radios, tools carried in the dark, devices that whisper across silence. But they won't stay there. If Nanograph's design proves itself in the field, under pressure, under fire, then it's only a matter of time. Civilian tech always follows the path carved by defense. That's how we got GPS, EpiPens, even canned food. Soon, you might find this same battery in your phone, in your laptop, in the car parked in your driveway. And it won't just last longer, it'll charge faster, run cooler, carry more. It's a small change that reshapes the entire system. From the battlefield to the sidewalk, one quiet revolution at a time. Some shifts don't start with noise. They start with silence. A better battery. A smaller load. A signal that never dies. What Nanograph is building isn't loud, but it matters. It moves through systems quietly, changing what's possible without asking permission. A soldier's lifeline today. Your phone's power source tomorrow. That's how technology spreads. Not with explosions, but with trust, with results. We may not notice it arriving, but one day soon, we'll look down at our devices and realize they last longer, charge faster, feel lighter, and we'll wonder when that started. Maybe it's already begun. Thanks for watching. Stay curious.